This week's instrument, one of those ones that really divides people. Keep watching. Yeah, welcome back, got a ukulele, it's review day. This is your summary video review. As always, if you look at the description below, you'll find a link to the website with the full written review, photographs, scores, a lot more detail, measurements, and that kind of thing. Uh, the thank yous running across the bottom of the screen this week. These people donate through uh, buy me a coffee and things like that to help keep this site going. And they're the reason I can do this every week uh, because I don't accept money or payment or gifts from the brands themselves because they couldn't be impartial reviews if I did that. And if you like the content that you're seeing on the Got A Ukulele YouTube channel, why not help me get the subscribe account up, hit the subscribe button, and uh, if you hit the bell symbol as well, you'll get notifications of new stuff coming your way. Okay, one of those divisive instruments, and it's a ukulele banjo, banjo -lele. Um, Some people absolutely adore them, go nuts for them. Some people just want to burn them with fire. Uh, and I don't know why that is. I mean, they just are really, it is really that black and white. Uh, it's really odd. Uh, but the ukulele banjo is inextricably linked to the history of the ukulele, particularly in the mid-20th uh, mid century, on both sides of the Atlantic. People went nuts for these. They were really popular, as popular as any ukulele. Um, but people are just in two camps. I don't review enough of them. I'm not a fan. Um, although I'll, I've liked some of them. This one is from British Brand, uh, who make Chinese instruments. This is the Barnes and Mullins UBJ2 Soprano Banjo Ukulele. Uh, somewhat unusual for that because it is a soprano, so it's got a really small little pot to it, and I think looks really cute and smart. I, I love the look of it. They also make a UBJ1, which is a bigger pot, uh, and a, it's got a resonator on the back, but as you can see, this is an open back, really simple little soprano ukulele. Um, okay, so six inch pot, that's small. As I say, sometimes these are eight or 10. Um, six, it's tiny, it's diminutive. Um, fitted with a Remo head, which, come on, Barnes and Mullins, you couldn't even get the head on straight. That is setting my OCD off like nothing else. Uh, and that would be a real pain to shift around, possibly a new head, because I don't think you get enough material. The rim of the pot is made of maple ply, and like all Barnes and Mullins instruments, there's always a bit of scruffiness in the in the in the staining or the painting that irritates me. Uh, ooh, all right, okay. Aluminium tone ring with a chrome cover on it, which is held which is uh, held in place by these tension screws, which allow you to adjust the tension of the drum head. The strings go over a very traditional looking uh, banjo uh, three-footed maple bridge with an oven gold top and then they run over to this tailpiece where they're tied off. Uh, all very banjo, all very traditional. You either love it or you hate it. The neck is made of maple. It's got a very small stack on the heel there and a very well hidden joint up at the headstock. Uh, and it's attached into the body with the usual pole piece uh, through there. This is not an adjustable neck. Usually you can adjust these for height, but it's actually, as you can see, bolted in twice. So there's a, a fixed bolt as well. So this is, it is what it is. You can't adjust it. Um, some people may uh, be annoyed by that. I don't know. I'm not a real banjo aficionado. What I will say about this neck, though, is it is more than broom handle. It is almost oval on the back, and I know that's kind of the way things are with ukulele banjos, but it's just not for me. And it's also really narrow at 34 mil, 27 from G to A. Again, banjo aficionados may say that's the way they're supposed to be. Maybe it is, but I struggle to play it. Uh, it's topped with an oven coal fingerboard, which is edge bound in cream, meaning the 19 frets have absolutely no sharp edges, and I love the way that looks. Uh, the fingerboard I like less. Uh, there are some real sort of dry, cruddy patches around the frets. It's just a bit grim. Look down there, you see. Uh, facing out are position dots at 5, 7, 10, 12 and 15, and thankfully black dots on the side to complement those as well. Uh, beyond the bone nut is, I like this wavy topped headstock with the Barnes and Mullins logo as a screen print, which looks old timey and classy. Although it is a bit large and those tuna bushings on the front look really lost. Um, I think something like the uh, Bowley uh, Barnes and Mullins Soprano headstock would look great on this. Talking of tuners, these are unbranded open gears, but they are actually really good quality. You can tell that from the quality of the metalwork on the worm gear. Small chrome buttons. It comes with nylon strings because they took an age to settle. A spanner to adjust the tension hoops, uh, hooks. 
and comes in with an RRP of £199, uh, although I see it discounted quite a bit if you shop around, so it's not a huge amount of money for a banjo. Uh, and as I say, I do like how cutesy it looks. The fingerboard is in a terrible state. There's a bit of staining marks on, on, on the body here. Uh, that headstock looks a bit lost, uh, a bit too big. Um, but I do like the overall look of it. Of course it's heavy because it's a banjo. Uh, so it's 1.04 kilograms. It's always gonna be heavier than a wooden instrument, but it's balanced really well. And you know what? It's quite comfortable to hold as well for a banjo because it's so small in the body, the pot. Um, so swings and roundabouts so far. Um, to set these up, you've got to set this bridge so that the distance from the nut to the top of the twelfth is the same distance from the top of the twelfth to the bridge. I've done that. I've also checked the tuning at the twelfth, um, and it's absolutely bang on. So this is in the right place, yet it still plays, to my ear, a bit out of tune. Now, I find all ukulele banjos do that. It's one of the reasons I'm not a huge fan of them, um, but it does sound a little bit out of tune. It's not helped by the fact that the nut is too high, so I'm getting uh, sharp first position chords, first position no notes, because of the action of pulling these strings down too much, plus they're stretchy nylon strings. So I don't like the sound of it, I'm telling you that now. But one of the reasons I don't like doing ukulele banjo reviews is I don't really know what makes for a good sound of a ukulele banjo. I play enough wooden ones, I know that. Um, if you're a, a ukulele banjo aficionado, you may be listening to this and saying, that sounds spot on. You may be listening to it and saying that sounds awful and try and tune out from the intonation issue because it needs a setup it needs the nut taking down but i can assure you this is in the right place um i really don't want to do this it is a loud instrument as all banjos are and being open back all right so we're all bang on in tune being open back you can sort of move it away from your body but yes, it's got a real bark, and it's got virtually no sustain, which isn't a complaint because it's a ukulele banjo. They don't have a lot of sustain. sound um, fun bouncy I find this not really too narrow for me to play find the more mellower sound of something like the magic flute firefly this is just too, a little bit too brittle of course i'm not playing tunes here that suit the ukulele banjo but i'm doing what i always do with the video so you can compare and contrast not my thing um, I think people could have fun with it um, do you know what I love the overall look of it it's not a lot of money it needs some setup work particularly on the nut I think a few little finish marks in it but um, there's something about it I really <coughs> I'm liking don't worry I'm not gonna start playing the banjo um, but there's something about it I like, and I know a lot of people do like these things, so I think it could be attractive for them. The Barnes and Mullins UBJ2 Soprano Ukulele, Soprano Banjo Ukulele. 
um, from the UK brand, made in China. Uh, not absolutely terrible, it's just not really my sound kind of thing. I don't play tunes that suit the ukulele banjo. Um, you might like it. Well, tell me what you think. Be really interested to hear your thoughts in the comments, and I think they're probably going to be divisive. People saying put it in the bin, and some people saying, oh, I love it. Um, you let me know. Anyway, I will be back next week. Loads more reviews coming your way. Take care this week. Stay safe and enjoy the sunshine. And I will see you soon. Bye-bye.